Hello everybody, welcome back to Soggy Bottom Homestead. I'm Dawn. Picked up a couple of whole chickens at the grocery store the other day. So, guess what we're making? We are going to do homemade low sodium chicken broth. Now I'm going to get that can so that it has shelf life. It'll last a few weeks into the refrigerator, but I don't have enough refrigerator space for that as well as it's just better if I can can it. Now that's little Joseph talking in the background. So, yes, found that letter. Joseph's been working on his alphabet lately. Okay, back to what I'm up to. So, here's how we do this. Here's what we start with. This is this is four onions, peeled and quartered. Take off, cut the the ends off, peel off the outside, get rid of the outside skin, and then just quarter them. This is approximately six carrots, peeled and cut. And down here in the bottom, hidden, is six stalks of celery, also cleaned up and cut and all this is rinsed. Now, seasonings we oh, use. Woman, huh? Don't forget to tell me you use large onions. Oh, excuse me. Large onions is what the recipe calls for. It seems like a lot of onions, but you it's know, it's really you not. Found that yeah, you found that oh, now, fine. seasonings. What are we, do with it? we use thyme, bay leaves. Now it calls for a whole garlic. I don't usually have fresh garlic handy, so I use minced all the time. It works out perfect. I do put about two tablespoons in the recipe. Also, we've got poultry seasoning and black pepper. Now, as you guys have noticed, I use no salt. It's not very appealing, but here's both chickens. I rinse them before I put them in the six quarts of filtered water. Now keep in mind this is raw chicken, so make sure you clean up well after yourself. I use this a lot for counters. I also use soft scrub with bleach for inside the sink. We're going to get all this put together. Got it all in here. Now, what I ended up putting seasoning wise. I changed my mind on the garlic because it's a brand new container. I put a tablespoon and a half of minced garlic, half a teaspoon of thyme leaves, four bay leaves, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, and a, te a whole teaspoon of poultry seasoning. Now, if you get heartburn, be careful with black ground pepper. Too much of it, it does get hot. Now in this, it probably won't because there is so much water. But I am more careful with it. So this is what I've put in it. You bring this to a boil, then turn it to, uh, well, it needs to still boil, but it doesn't have to be a rolling boil, not a fast boil, a regular boil, if that makes any sense. Now this has to boil, preferably with the lid on it to keep all of your steam juices inside the pot, for an hour and a half. Now, when the meat starts falling off the bone, if that happens earlier, this is done. And if it takes longer, then you just have to wait a little bit. I'll show you more of the stages. Just stick with me. It's at a rolling boil. This is that full boil I was talking about. Now, it needs to be turned down to where it's still boiling, but not this much. 
Here's what kind of a boil that you need. It's a bubble boil, medium heat. My electric stove is set on a number five. This will boil about an hour and a half until the meat starts falling off the bone, which it's been going about 30 minutes now. It's been boiling an hour and a half. I've turned off the heat. Here's my bowl that I'm going to dip all of the extra stuff out and into it. But let me show you this first. Okay, it's going to look a little oily on top. That's why we'll strain it in a few minutes. But the meat is just is falling off the bone. Literally. And so it is done. Alright, we're going to get some tongs and get all this dipped out into this bowl. Over here. We've got a couple steps to do here. This is the biggest part that I took out. There's some more in here. We're going to put this through the strainer once, and then I'm going to pour it back in the bowl. Then put the cheesecloth in my strainer and strain it again. Now, this meat, I will also put this in my cheesecloth after I'm all done and let some more of the juice because you get probably another quart of juice if you put this in the top in your strainer with your cheesecloth underneath it kind of push it down a little you'll get some more juice but you don't have to do that now this meat we don't eat this we just chunk it we figure it's just what we wanted all the, the good stuff out of it to go into the chicken broth now I haven't tried it yet. It's something on my to-do list to make uh, dog food out of this. But again, I haven't tried this and I probably won't right now anyway. Got too many other things going on. So, back on to this. Let's pour this in the strainer the first time and get rid of as many big pieces as possible. Here, it is the strain the first time. Still got all the grease in it. Here's how much of the chicken and vegetables came out of it. Here it is back in its original pot with all the big pieces out. Here's the cheesecloth and the strainer. I'm just trying to get more of the uh, oil, grease, whatever you'd like to call it, out of it. Just because that's how our family prefers it. Okay, here it is. Strained the second time. There's still some, but you're not going to get all of the oil out. Now let me show you what came out of it. That's the second time. Now I'm going to get this jarred up. Let it cool. I will probably put it in the fridge overnight. I will reheat it up to do a hot pack for canning. I took the chicken I was telling you about and I'm straining it last. because I'm trying to get as much juice out of it as possible. I want to take the probably pint, be about two cups, and I'll go ahead and put it in here. This will be the four that I end up hot packing later on. These I'm going to let cool, put lids on, and put them in the fridge overnight. They'll last in the fridge a couple weeks. This is how we made our chicken broth. So now I'm going to get things cleaned up. I hope you liked the video. Got any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget, subscribe, ring that bell, like, and comment. God bless and stay safe.